Hi everybody, good morning. I'm continue doing this. Today I'm doing CyberChef the basic. CyberChef you can get it online, so that's how it looks. And then we have this room. Uh, okay, Hashim basic, cryptography basic. So let's follow. You use CyberChef because you usually have most of the tools. You can see them here, like uh, you can search whatever you want here, base, whatever. So you, you it, it's good it's good especially for too many things to make them faster so you can access it online or you can download it I usually I just because there is a copy online you always you can install it uh, you can run it or whenever you do a room and attacks box is always there so you, you don't get lost I don't see if you want to install it in your computer it's fine so basically you can read about this but the basic story here is simple it's you have this one this the uh, what they call the recipe uh, the recipe whatever you want to, to put there you just click on them uh, for example let's practice for example he said uh, from most code for example usually one thing about cyberchef he has good on it is he can detect things you can see it appear from uh, he knows most of the time you just paste something here he will detect it and any any automatically choose, choose a recipe for you you can see threat so basically if you know and sometimes he doesn't know so you need to guess so sometimes it happen you are in code for example if uh, even if you reverse you can put this and you said to him okay i got you this and then you search there is a url from like defanger url decode encode you put that's there and and he said encode all special character then we have this is which that thing uh base 64 is always very famous for example if i sh have this one remove that if I put there automatically will detect it uh, straightforward and he knows what to do so basically that's it so it's not uh, too much things about it so you have whatever you want here he has this option to you can open file you can just copy and paste stuff here you can open folder input you can too many things yes so it depends with the, equ the question you get like hex decimal rotate with theory uh, so as always, we're starting your cyber security. This is entry level room, so you don't need to memorize wherever you just need to learn that there is the tool. You can choose too many things from what you can do about them. You can combine them, you can see, you can detect. That's what usually what you're looking for. Uh, is yeah, you can add tabs if you want to work in two things, so that's straightforward. I open a folder, you open a file, this is things you can you can save the output and all of that. So that's interesting. In which area you can find from base 64, you can find in this thing, which is basically the operation section of the operations. And that was uh, at the heart of the tool. The heart of the tool of course is the recipe uh recipe section which is basically this one the recipe the operation you want the input so uh let's start now before it of course here they tell you more because sometimes even if you put stuff here you, you need to find what to use as a recipe and you need to sometimes adjust to things like that so set the clear objective put your data into the input area select the operation and check for example sometimes you find income decoding like there like it's not like one shot for example you find it's uh, the origin was for example rot 13 then it was base 64 then it was base 78 and need to reverse backward so yeah at which step would you determine well this is first step of course what you want now let's let's practice they give us file you can download it you can open it through open file this is the file they give us for example you can see it's too many things if you look by with your eyes you can you can also copy and paste it if you can open it as a file or you can copy and paste it of course here is the text is to me imagine like you have a big file or something now let's see if we can be faster <coughs> what we, the specific external ip is external URLs extract image the 
whatever this we use but let's not uh, our example would be to encode the letter try hack me this is manual stuff so uh, you can have uh, symbol letters uh, convert binary and merge manually this is more manually more not interesting than manually so you can do step divide convert this manually uh, this is binary convert to um, this is look guys this is if you want to understand origin but basically if you are entry level maybe you can understand some quicker math about it now that we have a numbers from uh, usually don't want to go deeper in this if you just start in your career you can understand the logic behind it you can start read this is free room i'm more doing the lab part of it so you can read uh what's this the encoding that this is interesting because sometimes in uh, uh, in uh, ctf's quick things you can do is like this and this and the point and equal you want to be, if you have a filter you can use these things but usually this you can use also burp suite for this so this manual things is good to know them but it's not necessary Let, let's say uh, now we have open file or copy paste we did that that's fine let's practice for example now what's the hidden email so if you don't know the function you can just say search here and say mail and then you say no let's write email not email and say extract email that's the question said what is the hidden email address so you don't need you just put a keyword and say extract email and then it tell you the hidden email is there now let's assume we don't know the function so what is the hidden IP address that end with so we can close this delete and just say IP pass IP ex and we're looking for extract IP address we just put extra IP address we have two and the question said that end with 232 232 should be based this one I said guys this is automatic so you can read if you want to understand some manual approach of it uh, this is the last one that you should be faster to do them in case you need them uh, which domain address start with letter T uh, so if we're looking for domain so let's see if there is what function we can use for extract domains domain that start with the letter T is this one then what is the binary value of the decimal number 78 hmm what the what combine the operation from decimal and to binary so so for example now because we need this we can just press tab and say um what the, the question 78 I can just say seven eight and then they said what is the binary value of the decimal number remember this uh, in this combined operation from decimal so decimal from decimal and binary to binary now the question said what the question said yeah so we from decimal we taking this from decimal and switch into binary so so you have that <laughs> then what is the uh, encode value of this so we can take this one remove what we put now we put that one and just we search for URL and set the URL encode then we have special encode all character let's see that one and then we have that's so correct oh yeah what happened try hack me he doesn't like to uh, he's scared to hack them <laughs> what is the error encode value of why is accepting the same as value what the use an operation with uh, with encode all special character checkbox as we did here you need to check this one and then your first 
cook and then they said us uh, wh which one we using ready let's go out oh, dirty then let's using the task so we using this one we going back to our text this one using uh, the file you download the task file which IP address and with 10 we already did the first IP let's look extract IPs addresses uh, 10 is this one what is the base 64 value of this one so let's go to other tab we just close this put base 64 2 base 32 base 64 we put that then we have the result for base 64 see this for how easy chef say chef, chef what the decode we decode you can see now this one chef chef will detect it automatic so if you close this we put that is automatic detecting just place that one and it tell you the result and then what is the daytime string for Unix? So if I put there, let's see if it detected automatic. Let's oh what the, I did control I close it. Uh okay we did a mistake, we close it. Let's close that. Let's see if he he pick it up. You see he pick it up automatic. So he tell you from Unix he knows it. So that's what's good about Cyberchef also. It's uh, he can detect quickly. And then uh, the the next question what is base 82 decode for look without knowing it's base uh, uh, 82 we can just copy it we can close this and just say this and you can see here it detected it can tell you I know it it's base 82 automatically base 2 and you know exactly what to do so you just copy it that's what's good about uh, Cyberchef so the, yeah that's why uh, you don't need to, uh, to stress too much about how these things was auto, uh, uh, the manual soft uh, stuff you don't confuse too much exactly how you can read if you're interested about these things but yeah usually is straightforward uh, uh, and also don't don't assume it's too easy because these things uh, one of the things about it especially when you start changing this variable and uh, especially when sometimes with malware files they very very high sophisticated so you need to look what to replace what you do uh, uh, this, this is a, a learning curve for advanced stuff but for as I said this uh, this path is entry level so you don't want to spend too much it give you an idea what exists so you can decide what you want to go because for example this is malware forensic there are windows there linux uh, cryptography so you know which direction uh, api here so yeah i hope guys you you like it thank you very much and have a good day